I think this is by far my favorite type of beard. I don't know. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. And let me see what spring is like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, 213.6 this morning. So you hear everyone talking about macronutrients. So today we're gonna talk about macronutrients and how to fit them into your diet perfectly. The only thing that matters when you're trying to lose fat, that window between energy spent and energy consumed. Therefore, if you're trying to gain weight, you're gonna have to consume more energy than you spend. And if you're trying to lose weight, you're gonna have to burn more energy than you spend that you consume throughout your day. Let's talk about macronutrients. Protein, carbs, and fats. Now, general rule, there needs to be about six to 700 calories spent per day to lose about, about one pound per week. That means that window between how much calories you spend and how much energy you consume needs to be about 700. I'm gonna put up two things right here. Um, calories spent and energy consumed right here. This is my fitness ball and this is going to be uh, the health app on my watch. So that tells me how much calories I spent throughout my day. You don't have any of those and um, the only thing is you have my fitness ball because it's free as well. So um, you need to multiply your body weight times 12.5 and it's gonna be give you sort of a general rule of how much energy you need to um, start losing weight then times 15 to maintain and times 17.5. Uh, so that means if I'm 200 pounds, my lean body mass is 200 pounds, then I'm gonna need 2,500 2, calories to lose body fat. And about 3,000 to maintain and 3,500 to start gaining weight. Now let's come back to macros, macronutrients. How do you set them up? Well, from the calories, you have about 30 to 40% coming from protein, about 30 to 40% coming from carbs, and about 20% coming from fat. The remaining coming from. In my case, it's going to be a thousand calories coming from protein, a thousand calories coming from carbs, and the rest of 500 coming from fat. Now, keep in mind, you need to weigh your food and you need to make sure that the portions you're um, accounting for, those are the things you're putting into your calorie counter. So for instance, if I assume that it's just eight ounces of chicken, but it's 12, that's just gonna add up more calories than I'm thinking, then that's gonna add up more calories throughout my week, and I'm not gonna end up um, losing weight or gaining weight or maintaining whatever my goal is. Now, for those of you that say that you wanna eat super clean, then calories don't matter, then here's my thing. Kansas State University professor Mark Haub spent 10 weeks eating Twinkies, brownies, zebra cakes, and corn pops. He consumed no more, now this is important, he consumed no more than 1,800 calories a day. Haub did this to prove that in weight loss, what matters most is the total calories in the food you're eating, not the nutritional value. BAM! That's what I'm talking about. You don't need to eat super clean. You just need to spend more energy that you actually use. That's a scientific fact, and um, well, that's what it is, motherfuckers. 